All right, everyone. Welcome to the video on getting started with the Unreal Engine for virtual reality development. You'll need to go to epicgames.com and download the Epic Games Launcher before getting started. This is what you'll use to install versions of the Unreal Engine. Uh, to do so, you'll need to go to Library, and then you should have a button to install 4.14. If you can't see the button here, you can click Add Versions up the top, and that will create this option on the right, where you can go and install any of the prior versions of the engine. But for today, we want 4.14. So let's launch that. OK. And now the project browser is open. We want to go to New Project, Blueprint, Virtual Reality. And then in terms of starter content, let's say with starter content for now, uh, starter content just gives you a set of art assets like meshes and materials that you can use to make uh, a cool scene. So that's probably beyond the scope of what we'll do today, but it's nice to have to play around with. Let's call our project Hello VR and click Create in the bottom right. And then once the level has loaded, the project has loaded, you should see this screen right here uh, with this little VR template demonstration. If you've never used Unreal before, I want you to know you can use the right click uh, button on the mouse to look around and you can use WSAD to fly around the level. You can use E and Q to go up and down. And by the way, you have to be holding down right mouse button as you do these things. Um, there are other ways to move around, but that's the easiest to uh, get up and running with. So uh, what are we looking at? On the left side, we've got uh, HMD and Gamepad uh, style example. This is for Oculus Rift and you know Gear VR type interaction. And on the right, we have an example of HMD and motion controller. Uh, this is uh, motion controller meaning like the HTC Vive. We have room scale uh, hand controllers. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is HMD, if you're not familiar, head mounted display. Uh, this level, by the way, uh, if we hit play, we're not really gonna see anything interesting here. Uh, this is, we just kind of fly around. This level we're in right now, uh, we hit escape to get out of that. This level we're in right now, it's just for demonstration purposes, just to let you know, hey, within this template, there are two levels. There's an HMD level and there's a motion controller level. Here's how you control them. Uh, so to do anything interesting, we really have to go File, Open Level, and go into Virtual Reality BP, Maps, Motion Controller Map. This is where the magic happens. Uh, so in here, again, still doesn't look very interesting, but this gives us everything we need to get started with Room Scale VR and the Vive. So starting off, this camera on the floor, this is where the player will start. Uh, this class here, VR Pawn, that represents uh, the class uh, representing the player. Uh, we can go over here and if you click Edit Motion Controller Pawn, you can actually look at how uh, the pawn is programmed. So when you get more advanced, uh, you'll probably want to come back to here and look at how teleportation is implemented. You can look at how, oh, sorry, teleportation is implemented. That was rotation, teleportation on the bottom. Uh, you know, how to set the player height. Uh, you can see the tracking origin is different for Oculus and PlayStation. So this is a gold mine uh, when you are ready for it. But for today, I just want to show you the, uh, the bare bones minimum of what you need to get up and running. Uh, so, so we're in the level now. Uh, we, could, we can take a cube or a sphere or any, any sort of asset and kind of plop it in the game world. But one thing you'll notice is that if you hit play, it's not very interesting. We just kind of hang out here on the ground. Uh, and you notice we're actually seeing through the floor. That's how uninteresting this is. The reason is that for, uh, for VR, or at least for, yeah, for Vive, we put the camera on the floor and then orient everything based on the floor position. This would be the center of the play space for a Vive player. And in the case of hitting play here, uh, this viewport is actually not set up properly to do a proper uh, in-game uh, VR gameplay. So in order to actually load this thing in our headset, we actually have to use this VR preview mode. Uh, this will actually play it in the HMD and not here in the window. And also, by the way, I did not tell you already 
However, you will, if you're on the Vive, need to boot up Steam VR first, get your base stations going. Uh, you're gonna also want your controllers on. I'll turn those on now. And of course, the headset needs to be connected. So let's, uh, let's try out actually playing this level in VR because I think that's what you all guys are all here for. So again, once you got everything powered up, you should be able to launch the VR preview. Note to some of you guys, if you have trouble launching VR preview and that headset's not working, try making sure that Steam VR is running before you boot up Unreal. So let's, uh, let's launch the VR preview right now. Okay, I've got the headset on, here are my hands. I've got this blue beam coming out of my left hand because I hit the motion controller button, that's the, uh, the center trackpad on the thumb. So this is how we teleport around the game world. Uh, if you've played the lab or similar, you should be familiar with this concept. So I can kind of point this anywhere, release, and teleport. Uh, likewise, I can look back at, oh, and there's the sphere, by the way, right here where we started. Uh, if we hit the trigger, we close the hand to grab something. So if I jump over here, oh, and by the way, if we rotate our thumb while, uh, while holding down the, the mouse button, or the thumb button, we can orient where, where is forward on a teleport. So I can come right up to this display here and grab a box and kind of play with the physics here, smash things around. So this is the very basic VR demo. This is the, uh, the sample level that you get. And I do want to show you something pretty cool here. And that is, of course, uh, as you'd expect, you can pull in these different objects uh, from the side as you're editing your level. Uh, OK, there we go. And uh, of course, you can apply materials to them down here. Maybe we want a uh, you know, walnut over here and maybe steel on this guy and uh, maybe uh, copper on there. So we can set these materials uh, from this normal 2D editor, but I want you to know that Unreal already has a, a VR editor that you can use. It's not available by default. You have to peek, you kind of uh, peek in the settings for it. You go into Editor Preferences, Experimental, and down here, Enable VR Editing. That will allow you to edit your level in VR. And then this auto entry setting, I recommend you turn that off. This, uh, what this does is that anytime it senses the VR is on your head or on your face, it'll automatically jump into the VR editor. Uh, I find that, that it's nice to have to hit the button because sometimes it's nice to go to play mode. Sometimes it's nice to go to uh, VR editor mode. So, uh, but you'll see in a second that you can actually jump back and forth between the two. So check this out. If you hit this VR mode, this fires up your app, not in play mode, but in a VR editor. So once again, give me a moment as I put on the HMD and I can show you the basics of the VR editor. Okay, so here I am in the editor and you can see I've got these two laser pointers on my hands. And if you point a laser pointer at anything in the game world and hit the trigger, you can grab that item and move it around in 3D space. If you uh, grab it with two hands, you can do this kind of free form move scale rotate and then also if you're grabbing with one hand you can slide with your thumb to bring things closer and further away uh, this editor is really cool again I don't want to go into all the details uh, right now but you do have the ability to dash around you have the ability to clone different objects to rotate them to move them around uh, there's the scale again there's all sorts of stuff you can do here in the VR editor. And by the way, if you point one hand at the other, you can click play. And now all of a sudden I'm back in play mode. So this, this loop here between, um, between editing the game and playing the game is very tight. Again, we can go up, we can grab the boxes again. And, uh, and then if we don't like how things are, then you can hold both triggers, hold both grips, and it will be back into edit mode. And we can just kind of play and then edit and then play and then edit. And you can see that this gives us a very seamless way to jump back and forth between the two modes. Once again, both grips, both triggers. And now we're back in edit mode and move things around. 
So this is a very, very powerful tool. Again, you can shrink the world down. You do all sorts of stuff. It's a very valuable tool that you can use uh, in your VR development. All right, and of course, uh, in Unreal, there is just so much you can learn to do from level editing, material editing, animations, programming, you name it. It's all in here, and it's all available for free. And I hope you enjoy the video, and you're going to come back next time.